We won't back down. Oh yeah, hi oh. You can lock us up at the gates of hell and we won't back down. We will stand our ground. Oh yeah, hi, oh yeah, hi oh. No dapple. We are hey hey hey. We are hey hey hey. We won't back down. Oh yeah, hi oh. You can lock us up at the gates of hell and we won't back down. We will stand our ground. Way a high, way a high, oh. No dapple, we won't back down. We won't back down. Way a high, way a high, oh. What I see on, on video online with people shooting water cannons at U.S. citizens who are peacefully praying on their own land where the government is trespassing, yes, I consider that a domestic enemy. If there's about 200 water protectors, there's also about 200 police that show up on the line. Each and every policeman I've seen at those direct actions has been more heavily armed than I was when I was an infantryman in Vietnam. I served in the Army Reserves from 1976 to 1991. We got Syria, we got Palestine, we got places around the world where oppression is continuing. And this is one of those places. When I was inducted into the United States Army in 1970, I, I, I took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And the first three words of the Constitution say, we the people. And I'm here because people are more important than corporations. We're here to protect water, the, the, the basic element of life. Because I signed up to serve my country and my people, and I did that overseas. I didn't think I'd have to do it here, on this land. But what they did to us truly, in my mind, violated our civil rights to peacefully protest. We get invited by the government to go to a country to visit and to look at the human rights situation of indigenous peoples, particularly for my mandate as the UN Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. The, the issue of, uh, of the tribes not being consulted whenever any government project comes to their community is really an issue that has been there since colonization up to the present. So my sense is that it will, it will be beyond the pipeline.